on the dance floor with the diamonds dancing. I'm in the section with your things dancing. VVS connect a chain reaction. You ever roll the jet hole, bitch? You looking that one? Throw a hundred in the gas tank. Slid twenty thousand of the gas man. This that jet life, tell a gang. Hide up, boss, nigga, pulling strings. Yeah, I can make a shake. Oh, I could get your cake baked, nigga, set you straight. Pulling up, jet life, written on the place. House money on the rate, bought it just to race. Drew Leo the keys, he done the figure eight. I throw a hundred in the gas tank. Slid twenty thousand of the gas man. Oh, this that jet life, tell a gang. Hide up, boss, niggas pulling strings. See, I can make a shake. Or I could get your cake baked, niggas set you straight. Pulling up, jet life, written on the plates. House money on the rate, bought it just to race. Drew Leo the keys, he done the figure eight. Niggas from New Orleans, we show out in the bay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I fuck that bitch and give her yeah, back. back. I pull up and shit, they ask what's that. I'm on Front Street in the Maybach. You try to touch me, you get laid flat. In that 488, my nigga snack. In that 488, my nigga strap. In that 488, I smoke that pack. I push that 488, I ain't scared to crash. I get two more just like it in the flash. I use them up and leave them in the trash. On the dance floor with the diamonds dancing. I'm in the section with your things dancing. VVS connect a chain reaction. You ever roll the jet hole, bitch? You looking that one? Throw a hundred in the gas tank. Slid twenty thousand of the gas man. This that jet like. Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? This game's graphics, we in the building. What's up, Black Vortex, Smoke a Fat J, and Notorious YT, what's going on, y'all? I uh, hope y'all can hear me clear, loud and clear, everything good. I'm just going to make a quick video on um, how to change the, um, how to change the key to open up the add-on pads menu okay uh, people's having problems with L or either they want to change um, the L key to another key so I'm just gonna show y'all how real quick I'm gonna have these links down in the description actually do I have this one in the description yeah I do okay so what we're gonna do is start off with uh, downloading the pet selector right here we're gonna download this first and then um, this is going to be a technical little tutorial, so um, if you're familiar with a little bit of scripting, then uh, this is definitely for you. Um, if not, you might have to watch some videos on how to work Visual Studio. But I am working with uh, Visual Studio 2017. Um, I will have a link to both Visual Studio 2019 and 17. So you're definitely going to need uh, one of these in order to uh, change the key. Now, once you have those um, downloaded, let me go ahead and open up the folder with the pet selector source code. Okay, now this is the pet selector source code. The pet selector, you know, that's the one that goes into uh, your scripts folder in the GTA 5 directory. So um, let's open that up. When you open up that pet selector for the source code, you're going to see a file that says petselector.sin. Go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, it will automatically open up the Visual Studio that you have installed in your computer. All right, as you can see, everything is loading up. All right, let's go ahead and minimize that. Uh, now that's a little bit too big right there. All right, uh, let me see if everybody can see that. Well, let me check my phone real quick. Do, 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 do. All right. All right. Let me open that up a little bit more. There you go. All right. So with this, uh, as soon as you load in the script, you're going to see. Hold on. Let me turn it down. All right. As soon as you load up the script, you're going to see uh, some red lines underneath uh, 
some words and stuff you'll see a lot of errors pretty much this is how you um, get rid of those errors you want to click on references and as you can see it is missing native UI and script hook v.net alright so what you want to do is right click on reference and then you want to click on add reference once you click on add reference you're going to go to uh, browse in your computer then you're going to look for your script hook v.net and you're also going to look for your native UI wherever that may be on your computer just go ahead and locate it and then click add once you click add you will have them right here let's go ahead and check these boxes and then come down and click OK once we click OK all of our errors that we had the red lines under the words will be all gone as you can see right there okay now in order to change the um, to change the L to another key we come down right here and you can see the command right here where it says keys and then it has L what you want to do is just go ahead and highlight the L and change it to any other key that you want to I'm going to change it to J just for tutorial purposes we just going to change it to J all right after that is done um, pretty much I wouldn't suggest changing anything else in here but the key you know what I mean so you, you don't want to mess up uh, this script or anything all right um, so once you have changed the key to a different key that you like you want to um, come up to build right here at the top click build and then select build solution now this is what you want to see this part is very important what you want to see is one succeeded zero failed all right so we got that message one succeeded zero failed let's go ahead and minimize that bring this back up let's see if it is in here in the debug folder all right now I'm gonna go back to the pet selector folder all right this is where we found our uh, source code for pet selector now once you rebuild the script again go ahead and come back to this folder and click on pet selector then go inside bin and then open up debug and then you will see the file that we just rebuilt right now okay you see the date today is the 7th 7 7 2019 and it's 12 47 where I'm at all right so now what we want to do is I'm gonna open up a new window with uh, my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory inside and I'm gonna go inside the scripts folder all right now this is where I'm going to be uh, placing my pet selector as you can see right here inside my uh, script folder I already have a pet selector right here so I'm just going to replace this one with the new one that we just uh, created or rebuilt alright so I'm gonna drag this one over here I'm gonna drop and it's gonna ask me to replace that one I'm gonna go ahead and replace it alright done now let's go ahead and run the game Remember that I changed the the add-on page uh, open menu button to J. Okay, so it's going to be J instead of L. All right. Give everything a second to load up. So as soon as we load in, what we're going to do is just press J and it should open up the menu. That will, know that, that will let you know that um, what we did was successful and um, you, could, you could change the key at any time that you like after this. This is very useful for uh, people that have a lot of mods or scripts installed. And um, a lot of mods and scripts, they all pretty much want you to press the same button you know like it's kind of like the same common 
uh, buttons to open menus, F7, F6, F8, you know, press L, you know, 1, 2, so they're all common, so this, this comes in handy. Actually, I think I might just keep it changed to uh, J instead of L. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I got a uh, Thanos video coming up tomorrow also. With the double-edged sword and uh, in-game outfit. And he has some new powers that uh, Julio NIB had just released. So I will have a video releasing tomorrow for that. It's actually rendering right now. Happy Sunday to everybody. Hope everybody having a good day out there. All right now we should be loading in in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now that we have loaded in the game. As you can see, I am Big Ball and S. Franklin, and we are going to press J on the keyboard. Oh, yeah. Now, I know you can't see me pressing J, but I did press J. I'm not going to make a video and lie and try to fool anybody. So just to show you that this worked, it actually worked. All right. So I pressed J to open up the menu. Let me press it again, and it works every time. All right. There we go. So that's, this is, um, let me see something real quick. This is how you actually change the menu. Look, she's talking with my voice. <laughs> but this is how you change the key to open up uh, add-on pets menu. All right? You just want to download the pet selector source code, and you want to open it up with your Visual Studio, uh, whichever year that you have. And you want to go ahead and add in your native UI and your script hook v.net then change the key and click rebuild we'll click build all right i don't know how long she's going to keep talking <laughs> all right we're going to shut this off there we go all right bye bye my all right let's turn it off all right now going back to Visual Studio, once this is all done like this, you could go ahead and click, um, let's see, I like to do this first. Uh, okay, let's go back to Pet Selector. All right, I always like to make a backup folder and put the, the original source code in the backup folder, just in case when you save it and it overrides the one that we originally um, had downloaded okay so always make a backup folder just so you could put the original pet selector source code inside of it all right now what I'm gonna do right now is click on file in Visual Studio and then I'm gonna go ahead and click save all Let me go ahead and click that one time I mean two times all right once you had done that uh, let's see here let me save that it's gonna be saved right here 54 yeah this is the one right here I think this is the one yeah it's gonna be saved right here it's gonna be saved as class one let me move that yep it will be saved as class one um, you could change the name but I, I suggest uh, just keep it the same as pet selector don't, don't change anything over here just add your native UI in scriptbookv.net and uh, you'll be good from there all right so always remember once you build it once you click build solution it will go over here to your bin folder debug and it will be right in here okay and this is the only file that you need the dot dll file that's the only file you need to drag over to your scripts folder all right well um i hope this helped uh whoever needed this i hope this helped them out and i hope it helps out other people that are interested in changing that key um there's very not a lot of scripting you have to do you just have to have uh, Microsoft Visual Studio all right I believe there probably is some other programs where you can edit some codes but this is the one that I use um, feel free to use whichever one that you can get the job done with all right 
Um, let's go ahead and close this out that has been saved. All right, folks. Well, I just wanted to drop that quick stream video for y'all. I hope everybody has a good remaining weekend, and um, I'll see y'all tomorrow <laughs> on the Monday. All right, y'all. Take it easy.